uh, at those cells that uh, if a certain condition is, is met. In this example, we're going to we have our data from European Union population per country, and we're going to create the sum for 2001, but only for those countries that are part of the euro area. And we're going to do that here. Some if you can just type it, or you can also alternatively, if you, if you liked it better, look it up here. Some if. And it says the range. This is the range of cell you want to evaluate it. That's just okay. So look for do I want this or do I want? to include them or do I not want to include them. The criteria is yes, in this case. The countries where it says they're part of the euro area. And the sum range, that's the range where you actually want to, uh, that you actually want to add. And now it gives an error. It says name, I don't understand it. And that's because I did two things. <laughs> if you look here in the formula bar, I bu first I typed and then I and then used the function. So we're just going to remove this. Now it's proper again. And there you have it. This is the sum of all the, uh, the sum for the population in 2001 for all the countries that have the euro. Uh, if we compare it with the normal sum, just doing this by keyboard, by the way. You can see that there's quite something missing, but I'm making a bit of a mistake here. Because the first three things are the sum of all countries. So let's just get grab the mouse, click the left mouse button in the corner, and just drag it down. So that's a bit more, makes a bit more sense. So you can see the population of the Euro countries is uh, uh, a bit more than half of the total European Union. Uh, now let's say we want to calculate this for all the years. Um, if you look inside the formula, we'll cover this in a, a bit more detail in a later uh, video. Uh, but Excel now has, has two different kind of cell references. For example, if you look here, B5, that's a cell reference. B42, that's a cell reference. C5, that's also a cell reference. It's basically pointing to a location in the worksheet where it has to get the value from. Now, if we copy this, copy, and we paste it here, something happens. You can see it's now looking in this category, this range for the range for these criteria, which are none. So we'll just drag this here and now we'll have a proper formula again. Now we can do this, uh, we can make this uh, uh, formula even more copyable by fixing the cell reference to this area. We'll just add a dollar sign before the B's and now if we copy it, I'll just do this with the keyboard, Control C, Control V, much more convenient. As you can see, if we move from this cell to this cell, here it's B and it's summing, it's looking for yes in B. And it's summing the values in D. And here in the, in the next column, it's looking for the values in E, but it's still looking for the values in B. If we remove the dollar signs, again and when we copy this control c control v one to the right and we look it up it says okay so i've moved my location uh, uh, of the result uh, one cell to the right so i'll also move everything one to the right so i uh, it's it's um, ultimate excel has changed uh, the result column to f which is good but also the uh, Column to look for from B to C, which isn't proper. Because now we get proper result. But we'll cover that in another video. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. You can subscribe to uh, my uh, YouTube channel by clicking subscribe, or you can have a look at my site. Uh, thanks for watching.